Hello, everyone out there. So I had to take a little break after that last video, y'all. I had to take a little break. But anyways, so this is Tenora Callahan Speaks. How y'all doing today? So these are a series where I speak my truth. And I'm doing a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? So y'all y'all see me in this jacket or y'all see me in, you know what I'm saying? This is the same day. I'm just getting out a lot of videos because the spirit is moving me right now and I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So, um, this video that I'm speaking on now, this video that I'm speaking on now is about running into the same relationship, running into the same, I don't want to say person. Running into the same type of person, just a different face and a different name. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. So, I, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to say past tense with this. I have struggled with abandonment. I've struggled with um, anxiety. I've struggled with um, fear, nervousness, caring about uh, caring about what people think, um, all that. I struggle with all that, and I say that's the past tense because I'm healed. I no longer have that anymore. That was not of me. That was not of me at all. Nope, not at all. I don't claim it. I don't claim that stuff. So that's the past tense, right? So, okay. So like I said, I only, I'm, I'm only counting three people because in three relationships because I really don't count the other ones. Um, Not saying that I don't count them, but... I'm just speaking on three because that's when, um, that's something else. But I'm just speaking on three, y'all. So, every person that I ran into, the relationship did not work out. And I'm going to tell you why it didn't work out. Bringing back up, didn't have a relationship, a bond with my father. Being that my father didn't pour into me like he needed to pour into me didn't love me, didn't love me the way that he needed to love me and the care that I needed. I didn't have that. My dad didn't even give me the game about how men were. Um, so when I got old enough to date, I thought everybody was Basically like me, you know what I'm saying? Kind, sweet, nice, patient, loving. But they wasn't. Kind of the total opposite. Narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic disorder. That's my platform, y'all. And I'm, why is my platform? Because I have done with, because I have dealt with plenty of people with the with this disorder, and if it's not, uh, if they don't have this disorder, cause I'm not gonna claim this. No, 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 I'm not gonna claim this on everybody. But they had toxic traits. How about that? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Toxic traits. We're not gonna call them narcissists. Okay, we ain't gonna do that. But I ran into three people like this. But guess what? Not only was I broken, these three people was broken too. And in order to heal, you have to go through a process by yourself. I was looking for 
somebody to complete me in a relationship. And that wasn't the case. I was chasing the other part of me. And guess what? The whole time I was chasing it, it was right here. I needed me. I needed myself. Yeah. And I got myself now. I had to hit rock bottom to come up. I had to heal myself with nobody else around. I didn't need to be in a relationship. I didn't need to have somebody that was distracting me from loving myself. So look, so the first, so the first person, I'm not, I'm not calling your name. So the first person, it didn't work. I had my daughter by this person. He was ruthless. Ruthless, y'all hear me? He would call me all my name, say nasty things to me, or whatever the case may be, only because he was hurting. When I look at people now, I look at it as they going through something within their self. You know what I'm saying? And being that, I guess I'm like a, I was like a, a target board for them to throw darts at. You know what I'm saying? For him to throw darts at me when he got mad or whatever case may be. Instead of dealing with his BS, he threw it on me. Alright, so that one. <laughs> the second one. Second one a little different, y'all. Um, manipulation. Man manipulation. The first one was manipulation and very, very controlling. Strong manipulation there. Strong toxicness. The second one was manipulation and controlling. Um, playing a pity role to get what he wanted. I'm telling my truth, y'all. Um... Cheated on me. The first one cheated on me too. The second one cheated and had a whole uh, another child. Um. But yeah, yeah. The third one, this one, set me down. This one right here, this last relationship, set me down to the point where I said, "No, not no more." I'm not doing this to myself no more. I'm going to love me. And I'm going to heal. This last person. Took my heart out my chest. And stumped on it. That's the best way I know how to explain it. I cared about this person. And I love this person a lot. He took my love for granted. He manipulated me. He controlled me. He was toxic. He had issues within himself. I was a target board once again. The bad outweighed the good. It was more bad than it was good. I stayed there because of why? It was a soul tie there. It was a so it was a it was a it was a it was a soul tied there. It was a soul tied there, meaning that I I couldn't I couldn't let go. He had a hold on me. That's how I felt. I felt trapped. I felt like I was going in circles. I felt how I can explain it. I felt like. I was in a hurricane. I was in a tornado that I could not get out of. This one set me down. I had to call out to the highest power to remove me from this situation because I couldn't remove myself. I couldn't just walk away. That's how strong this hole was.
the Most High released me from this person. Did it hurt? Fuck yeah, it hurt. Excuse my language. Yes, it hurt. It hurt. Oh my gosh, it hurt. I can't even sit here and explain the pain to y'all. But it was for my good. And I appreciate the most high. I love you. I appreciate the most high. I appreciate it. I appreciate the most high. I had to drop to ground zero on my knees to be able to break free. And now I'm free. Today, I am free. I'm more happier. I see I see life in a different way. I feel so free. I like I can that's the only way that I can explain this to y'all. I feel so free from abuse. And I would never walk back that way. I would never walk into the arms of a toxic person again. I will know the signs. I will take my time. No one will get by with me that's toxic and has narcissistic abuse traits. They cannot get by with me now. I can spot a narcissist out or a, a person with narcissistic traits or whatever the case may be. A toxic person. I can spot them out from a mile away now. My intuition is, y'all, my intuition is like that. I got a lot of people protecting me. I got a lot of people that surround me. I got a lot of people that's, that's, that's for me. I do. And I appreciate them. I love them, and I love myself. You know what I'm saying? I had to break free to find me. And now that I find me, I will never let me go. I will never let nobody treat me bad. I will protect me. I will love me. I will care for me. And this is me. So, I hope that this video get to somebody and it resonate with somebody. Speaking my truth to help somebody else out in need. I love y'all and I love myself and I respect myself. And I'll see y'all in the next video. This is Tenora Callahan Speaks.